Hello everyone, welcome to another wonderful tutorial from tricoder.com. In this tutorial, we are going to quickly see how we can use the Morgan third party middleware. And so, stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, please like, subscribe, press, press the notification bell, and drop a comment. So that whenever we upload a new content you're going to be the first to view it in this tutorial i'm going to explain what the morgan third party middleware is all about and then we're going to write some short code to see how it works and so if you've never known our website just write on to tricoder.com or if you're looking for a written part of this tutorial then you can just write on to tricoder.com and you'll find this tutorial under the node.js section so a third party middleware is actually a middleware that is not built in in node.js or let me say um express so actually it requires to be installed before being used and take note of the fact that a middleware is simply a function that has access to the request response cycle of our express web application so middlewares actually have the ability to um to make some modifications during a request response cycle of an application and so um, as commonly described the Morgan middleware is simply an HTTP request logger meaning it locks out any requests made on the server on the console therefore if you make any request or if a OO as a developer if you make any request on the server the, that request or the information regarding the request is locked on the console and so this is a very handy tool during development it helps a lot and therefore since Morgan is a third party middleware we actually need to install that before using it and so to install Morgan, you simply need to write on to your project folder and you open a command line. And so my node project and I open a command line CMD. Then npm install Morgan. But before doing this, make sure you have node express already installed but if you do not you could just type express morgan and install both but if you already have express in your project you could just install only morgan and please take note of the fact that installing this requires internet connection because npm is going to fetch this module from from the package environment or from uh, um, online and install it in your local machine and so when the installation is complete you're going to receive a notification on the console so that said open your text editor create a new file server.js mine is already created so let's write some code and see how it works so for this, we're going to write a simple express app with just one route and set up Morgan so we can see how it works and we can see how requests have been locked on a console. So quickly we are going to import express require express and we are going to create an instance via app. Mm 
then let's create a route a home route function request response and on that route we are simply going to send a response of hello world welcome to morgan then our server will listen on port 3000 and so if everything works well we are going to receive message on our console console.log running on port 3000 okay but there's one thing we left out we need to actually tell our express application that we are actually using Morgan so I think we actually need to it's handy to call it install Morgan the Morgan require but I think somehow the application can actually work without doing this but then let's just try it out and see app that use oh for now let's just remove this and set up our app so we are going to tell express to use this Morgan Dev Okay, so let's try out So let's run our script So node server Okay, Morgan is not defined. So require Morgan. Oops, I think that was an error I made. Now let's try it out again. Okay, running on three thousand. So, local host 3000. Hello world, welcome to Morgan. So let's open our console and check. Okay guys, so we have a get 200 milliseconds. That's status code of 200. Of, of 200. Uh, that's status code and then the time. So we have the request or the HTTP method we have the status code or we have the method we have the route we have the status code and we have the time all right guys let me explain some few things here so you can understand better when you look at my code you can actually see app.use morgan and dev okay let me explain this I can I think you can find this on a the on the written tutorial too now the Morgan takes a parameter and so the parameter simply um, defines how the HTTP request should be locked or the format or the standard it should use for example we have three types we have dev we have combined and we have tiny 
now so each parameter has its way of logging the http request on the console therefore combine logs the entire property of the http request made from the browser tiny and, and dev simply prints out the route the method and the time so i think guys let's try out combine and tiny and see how it works so here we change this to tiny we start our server let's request okay now you could notice a kind of difference right and so that's it guys you can equally try out for the combine and see how it works so morgan is a kind of handy tool for developers during development all right guys thank you for watching you can always share subscribe and comment if you have any issues drop them on the comment section and we are going to get back to you thank you guys